Hey, and hello. Today I'm in the car again. I guess I'm going to do a little monk bang. We're going to try this product here. It's a green goddess power bowl by Healthy Choice. Here's the uh, macros. Here's the ingredients. <sighs> Why is it not focusing? All right, so. <laughs> that face I just made, yeah, it's. Let me mix it. So, um, I got this. I think I got this at Target. I think. I don't remember. I've had my. I've had it in the. Um, I'm mixing it right now. I've had it in the um, freezer for a while. It looks pretty good though. I'm mixing it up. Um, on the uh, Healthy Choice, the uh, falafel I just did the other day. This also has, just like the falafel um, power bowl, this also has tahini dressing in it. And I've just never... Been, I like tahini dressing. I just don't like it warm or hot. Um, you know, it's like ranch dressing. I kind of like it cold. Room temperature is okay, but I don't like warm or hot ranch dressing. I'm like that with um, tahini here. Is that a green bean? Brown rice and ancient grains, dark leafy greens, charred kale and spinach, legume seeds, which is pumpkin seeds, broccoli, asparagus, green zucchini. It doesn't have much salt or flavor to it. It seems like it needs, I didn't think salt would help. Well, salt would help a little bit, but. Man. I was just sad that mm. I don't like it. It's earthy. And I'm pretty hungry too. You know when you're they say when you're hungry everything tastes okay, but I think raisins or something sweet would go good with this to contrast with the um, earthiness. And it's kind of bitter. And why do they have to put tahini? I don't know. I think this would be better if they made like a maybe like a cashew... Uh, I don't recommend it. I'm still eating it because I'm hungry, but it's starting to grow on me, but mm. it's bitter. I didn't have much flavor. The flavor that's there is bitter. A little more salt would be better, but I don't think it's going to make it that much better. Maybe something like a heat, like a little bit of cayenne pepper. Um, maybe if I had that in the car, I could do it, but I don't have it in the car. You know, I'm not crazy about this. I give this like... A 1.8 out of 10. Anyway, that's my review on that. I don't recommend it. 
Check out my other videos, though. I do. I've done a lot of daily harvest. Um, man, I will never get this again. This is just. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's nasty. I don't like it. So, um, it doesn't really smell that good either. All I smell is like. How do you say cruciferous? I can't even say the word. Like, um, sulfur smelling. Like it, it smells like a whole bunch of broccoli and. Uh, cauliflower, but not in a good way. I don't know. I think this would have been really better if they would have made a different dressing and they would added some sweet stuff like maybe either raisins and or cranberries to this, but that's just my opinion. And um, maybe cut back on one or two of the vegetables. I think there's too much going on here. All right, so that's my review. All right, bye-bye.